Okay, it's Friday, which means we are talking cycling fashion. And today, we're going shopping. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to Friday, and welcome to Fashion Friday, which as you know, is where we go into far too much depth when it comes to all things lycra, all things patterns, and all things panache. And today we are going shopping. I want to specifically look at some of the summer stuff that is coming out. Now we are in the Southern Hemisphere, we are headed into that direction. And I'm gonna keep this super simple. I'm gonna go on to four or five websites and yeah, we're gonna go shopping. Let's jump into our first brand and our first brand will be Castelli. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Castelli home page. And yeah, as you can see, a Northern Hemisphere sort of thing, but with the winter thing, but I am more interested in the jerseys. Coming down a little bit further, they've got their vintage, they've got the Giro where they've got a bit of design. Not, not a huge amount of design going on, but I don't mind this. Now, the Climbers jersey here, it's got a nice bit of texture. I've talked to you a little bit in the past about texture in jerseys and how that can really be linked in. And I think this would go really well with a nice pair of navy bib shorts or something like that. I'm a big fan of that. Quite like the texture in that. Almost like a denim. Yeah, quite like a denim in that. So I think there's a there's a nice sleeve length to it. Bit of bit of design there. That's not, it's not badly priced either. Actually, that's quite a that's quite a nice little jersey. I'm not not hating on that in any sense of the word. The last kind of part of this that I'm kind of interested to see it on their new arrivals. Yeah, okay. So, patterns. Patterns like this. Look, I like the pattern. I do like the pattern. I think there's, there's a good bit there. I think one of the narratives I'd like to get to as we go through this is, I think we need to move away from just pure dots and you know, the, the triangles and the lines and the swiggle and the and the circle and that kind of, yeah. Yeah, look, I think that's, that's a bit of a win actually. That is a bit of a win. Next up, we are gonna go to Lacole, which I would have to argue is probably the loudest. I don't know about you guys, but in terms of my social media feeds, this seems to get smashed in front of my face the most. And I will be also very honest with you, this is the first time I've ever gone onto the Lacole website. So you're getting fresh eyes on this. I really don't know what to expect. So let's jump in here. Now, from what I understand, Lacole is a, is a UK based product. And you can tell that straight away. <laughs> this is very much a UK look, isn't it? Right, okay. So here's their sport lightweight jersey, which is, yeah, quite nice. White and navy, I think white's a nice color for, for summer this year, definitely. White stitching through there, which I think's quite interesting. Look, it, it really has quite a, a sort of Manchester City, like FA, FA Cup football vibe to it, doesn't it? Looking at the price-wise, I mean, th these three seem to be the, the jerseys that most people would be going for, the sport jersey, the lightweight jersey, the sport logo jersey. This would be the kind of jersey you could run with any bib shorts, um, any branded bib short. I think that's, that's another kind of key point. People ask me about, can you run multiple different brands? Well, I think you definitely can. Let's have a little bit more of a look at some of the stuff which has got some more design. Now they do a lot of collaboration stuff by the look. So they've got the Mapai jersey. Let's jump into this one actually. Yeah, it's, it's not a bad little pattern. I like the colorway actually. The colorway, it's just so English. <laughs> I can't, I'm actually quite surprised with just how English that is. I think it's an interesting design. A little bit disappointed, I think, design-wise from what they've got going on here. I know this Project Aero thing is, is the one thing that they definitely did talk about. Um, all I can say with this sort of stuff is it just smacks of the UK. Like, you watch those UK crits and that type of thing, and everyone's wearing this stuff. So, look, I'm sure it's a good, solid, safe bet, and 
keep an eye on some of the collaborations that they do. I think that Wiggins con collaboration is certainly a nice, um, a nice option. I don't, I don't mind these at all, actually. They're quite nice. So that would be something to pay attention to. But if you're looking for kind of cutting edge design and that type of thing, I don't think Lacole's probably your bet. All right, let's go up a price notch or two. Let's go over to Switzerland and ASOS because these guys, yeah, I mean, they have been doing this a while. So here we are on the home page. I love the fact that their stuff is just so tech Euro. It's just like, yeah, I rate this. Okay, let's have a look. We're gonna go into the jerseys, ASOS. What have you got for me? Show me what you've got, ladies. Hey, here we go. Um, the team kit. Look. I actually like the team kit. Um, I think it would be really hard to wear with anything. No, gradient, go away. Uh, uh, pattern, mm, more gradient, no. I don't mind this pattern. Uh, nice little texture on the inside of the thing. Oh, no gradient, go away. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I actually like that. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. This is their collaboration with the Bicycle Changes Lives projects. I think this is really nice. I really like this. I think this could be worn with uh, some black bibs. I think it's not an over the top branding thing. Um, I really like that. Disappointing on the back. I, I think they could have been a little bit more ambitious on the back with another hand. Um, but we've got a signature up there. Why? What? What? Why? No, I'm a bit disappointed by that. I'm a bit disappointed. I, I just don't understand why we're still gradienting, ladies and gentlemen. I do want to say this about ASOS. Uh, big fan of their crash policy. You'll see that there. I think if you're going to spend the money on ASOS, you, you spend the money downstairs and you run the bib shorts. Because the people who like the ASOS bib shorts love ASOS bib shorts and they swear by them. They haven't changed in decades. And they are, they're nice, they're technical, and you can just basically get black ones and then get a designed jersey from a different brand because don't waste like four or $500 on a gradient jersey like that, as far as I'm concerned. Next up, Rafa. Obviously this is gonna be a range I'm a little bit more familiar with. So let's jump in and have a look. Now on their homepage, it is, uh, it's interesting. It's, it's geo marked me. It knows that I'm in the Southern Hemisphere because it's telling me the heat is on. I doubt people in the UK are getting that. Um, the Core Lightweight Jersey. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at the colorways in here. Now, lots of color options. Lots of color options. Uh, a very pastel -y collection, actually, and I must admit, I'm a bit surprised by that. I thought we would be seeing darker, deeper colors, but we're seeing some kind of pastel -y colors there. And um, difference there with the fabric, as you can kind of see, it's gonna be a tighter fitting jersey with that ribbing across the, the top. It's gonna be a slightly lighter weight jersey. Um, it's 94 bucks, not too bad. Rafa obviously do a lot of their collaboration stuff as well with individuals, with teams. Hopefully one day we can get a Nero one up here. The Legion jersey, I don't mind the Legion jersey. I'm not a massive fan of it. Um, I do like the digital woodland stuff that they've done. I don't think there's anything in the road world of that. This is the collaboration with Colin Strickland, isn't it? Yeah, I really kind of like the texturing across the top here. Uh, I think the only issue you're going to find with that is just how it looks as the full... Oh, I quite like that colorway. Yeah, that's quite nice. A little orange, orange thread. And you can probably tell that I'm kind of leaning towards a little bit of the camo stuff with a little bit of texture in it. Like, again, there's a nice bit of texture in there. Bit of a fan of that. And the only other one I thought which I th you could probably consider if you wanted to go... The full air, I love these colorways. I was gonna make mention that I kind of feel like I'll do a proper summer riding thing in the future, but I feel like white is the new black coming into summer, but to have a slightly off colored white, I think could be a really nice feature. So something like this, if they've got any good imagery of it. You know, a lot of the time it's hard to find when you go on these websites, they've got good stock images 
I reckon overall, my two cents on the Rafa stuff is stay away maybe from the, the blocky, brevity, lined kind of thing, specifically for summer. Okay, that's, that, it, it is more of a winter look. Go for your lighter, brighter colours. And if you've, you're feeling confident about it, white, but that light off-white tone. I think there's some really nice things with that. And the protein training stuff, something with a little pop of colour in the arm, or on the collar like that, that can be really nice as well. I mentioned to you guys a couple of times, I'm big into patterns and a bit of design on the jersey. So I wanna kind of show you a brand that's trying to do that and how sometimes it gets right and sometimes it goes wrong. So I, I did a Google search and I just did like patterned cycling jersey and, and these guys came up. I don't actually really know anything about them. But have a look at their cycling jerseys and look, it's the opposite to Le Col, isn't it? Like it's just design, 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 design. I think this kind of stuff is really cool. I'm a big fan of this kind of angle that they're playing here. It's right next to one that I think's awful. Oh, that's kind of cool. You see what I mean? Like that, that actually looks like it's got some texture. It's pretty funky. That whole pattern sort of sits on it, pops out. Last one I just want to quickly show is, there's one more down here. It's not a, it's not a, a short sleeve. It's uh, yeah, one of these ones. Oh, I really like this. This is cool. So yeah, you guys are probably saying, what's he on about? He just went on about, but this is like, this is taking it, like this is going full. This is going full legit, here we go. I'm gonna get stuck into it. I'm gonna go full, you know, graffiti street artist type thing. Now, a lot of this, the design's cool. I, I quite like the design. The problem you're gonna run into here, okay? Cool design, looks good, blah, blah, blah. Is if the quality of the Lycra's crap, it's just all gonna look crap. So there's no real world picture of this, so I can't actually pull it out, but there, here we go, here we go. So this is what I mean, right? So I actually really quite like that pattern, but because the Lycra doesn't fit that well, and it's sort of, you can see it's a bit, sloppy the whole thing kind of loses it a bit so i think that's always going to be the danger when you run a cheaper product with a cool design on it that it's still just going to kind of look crap whereas if you've got you know let's say the asos have done that nice hand thing you know you're probably saying it's a similar enough design chris but the quality of that asos jersey is going to be higher so hence the whole overall flavor will be a bit better so yeah, I just wanted to, to shout those guys out. There's some good stuff, there's some bad stuff. And uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of options out there. As always with this subject, it all comes under the caveat that you can wear whatever the hell you want on a bike. I don't care, no one should care because if you are on a bike, you are winning. But that is not gonna stop us from every Friday picking apart, picking apart the do's and the don'ts bicycle fashion. All right, guys, make sure you do like this video. And I have suggested in the past to share this video on to someone as opinionated as myself. I urge you to do that because I want some debate in the comments. That brand's crap, this brand's crap. We need to get that stuff going. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. My words have stopped working. All right. Thanks. Catch you soon.